What's going on YouTube and welcome back here to the channel. We just got some latest information here in Fortnite. The funding station has finally returned ever since we last saw it back in chapter two. And we can basically vote between some familiar items to get it back in the game and also some new stuff as well, guys. We also got some new info on the Soul Clash skin bundle and when does it actually pop in the Fortnite item shop? This is no doubt gonna be the starter pack of the season. So it's gonna be insane once this actually pops up in Fortnite. Like I always say guys, drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to never miss an upload here in Fortnite. And also, if you guys want a chance to receive something absolutely free from the item shop, also, you know, the chapter 3 season 2 battle pass is amazing as well. So, if you guys want a chance to receive that as well, make sure you boys comment that epic. So, logging into Fortnite, guys, you're probably going to see this message saying thank you, and you're probably wondering what does Fortnite mean. If you guys take a look at this tweet that was posted on their official Twitter page, they basically says Fortnite has raised $36 million, guys, for the Ukraine relief efforts, and it actually is insane because this was raised in 24 hours, guys. And take a look on screen, this is basically what Fortnite is doing from March 20th to the 3rd of April, guys. They're basically going to donate all of their money or proceeds that is basically raised by Fortnite and donating it to help the situation that's going on in the world with Ukraine and Russia. So big shout out to Fortnite, guys. This is actually insane. And let me know your thoughts down below. The link is down in the description if you guys want to go check out more information on that. But we also got some new information regarding some new items that's possibly going to be free, guys. So it is actually insane. If you take a look at this tweet by FNSS on Twitter, he's basically saying, here's all the new emoticons from the V20.00 update that are unreleased or unobtainable as of now. And if you take a look at all of these uh, emoticons, these emoticons basically have a style that was previously used before in free rewards that is mainly used on Twitch drops. So if you guys know, Fortnite doesn't really sell emoticons so no doubt these are probably going to be free during a promotional twitch drops and all of that or maybe some promotion with uh creative mayhem or something like that you know what i'm actually saying guys so possibly this is going to be some sort of promotional free rewards we can obtain further on up in the season also some information on the tardis spray if you guys haven't claimed the tardis spray as well i also have a video posted on the shorts channel you guys can go check it out after this to basically see how you can get the tardis spray absolutely free and get some xp as well because you know the new season has started and you guys probably want to level up your battle pass as soon as possible if you take a look at this tweet by a fire monkey on twitter he basically says a little under four days remain to redeem the tardis spray code that is basically if you want it in the first place and it says currently it has been redeemed by 400,000 people so that's not really much because i think it has to reach uh, like a five million so if you guys want it i have a video link in the description that you guys can go check it out on the shorts channel and doing those challenges actually gives you a solid amount of xp as well so that is actually a pretty good challenge Challenge to do it if you want some XP as well and also get a free spray. Moving on to information on is stuff that's probably going to be coming in the funding stations or is basically already in the funding stations. If you guys take a look at this tweet by I from Monkey on Twitter, he basically says all upcoming unfaulting funding battles. Each battle will require one of the choices to get 2.5 billion bars funded in order to win it. So the Boogie Bomb is probably going to be going up against the Rift to go. The Shield Bubble is probably going to go up against the Balloons. The MK7 is going to be going up against the Combat Assault Rifle. And basically guys, the MK7 against the Combat Assault Rifle is not really a challenge because the Combat Assault Rifle is so bad, bro. There's also some information that was provided by iFire Monkey as well. And this is actually a really good note. He basically says a slight note each battle bus funding booth has a different percentage to being funded so the one at the synapse station is at 21.63 percent funded and the one at the sanctuary is at 23.28 percent funded so if you guys basically vote for the one at the sanctuary we'll probably get the uh the battle bus with the cow catcher a lot faster and these battle buses guys as you're seeing in the chapter 3 season 2 trailer we can basically drive these battle buses in the future so it's going to be insane so the faster we actually fund these it's better uh uh, to get a chance to drive them. and the cow catcher guys if you haven't found the cow catcher the cow catcher is basically located at some sort of like a gas station it's mostly like garages around the fortnite map so that's basically one way of found, finding the uh, the cow catchers and i think they're also located at the uh the sevens outposts or maybe the io outposts i think it's located at one of those but it's definitely located at garages and stuff around the map and there's also another item that is basically going to be uh in the funding station as well and this is actually the chopper the chopper is going to be coming back pretty soon Take a look at the tweet by iFarmonkey on Twitter. He says, I don't believe I posted this. So here is an image of the Sevens Choppa that will be able to be fun later on in the season. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. As we said, guys, the Choppa was actually leaked in the uh, Naomi Osaka, uh, basically the trailer. 
when they were actually introducing the skin to the game so it was just a matter of time before it actually popped up in the files and it will be available in the game but moving on to the zo clash skin bundle guys and when does it actually come in the autumn shop if you guys take a look at this photo as you guys can see it was updated in the v20.00 update so no doubt this skin bundle is going to be coming out pretty soon in the atom shop as we know at the start of any season at all once the starter pack actually gets an atom shop design update it should come in the atom shop at the first week going on to the weekend of that first week you know that the season was actually started so we should see the skin bundle in the atom shop further on this week guys as well if i do get the confirmed date on when this is coming out i will provide more info on the channel so make sure you boys are stay tuned here on the channel for that as well but we do got some information on it guys and how it actually looks in game thanks to this leaker on screen for basically posting all the information here guys and check it out and i'll see you in a bit The Zo Clash skin bundle is going to be coming with the Zo Clash skin itself. Uh, so it has the description of fresh fit, fresh kicks, and always looking for a fresh adventure. The second one goes for the uh, pickaxe, which is the beep boop pickaxe, guys. The the friendliest bludgeon bats you'll ever bash. So that's a blue rarity pickaxe. The second one is the Sergeant Shiba, which is basically uh, his ideas aren't always the best, but they are ideas. And basically we have the wrap, which is sticker him up. And also the description reads, show your style. And last but not least, 600 V-Bucks to go with the entire bundle. So buying this bundle, guys, is probably like around $2 to $3 or probably less. I think the last starter pack was going like over a dollar. I'll post the real up price at the uh, top of the screen or something guys it's probably popping up on screen right now so that's basically all the information you need to know about the zo clash bundle as i said it should be popping up very soon in the atom shop so make sure you boys stick around here on the channel to keep up to date with more info i'm on top of it i'm on top of it <laughs> I'm lagging! Yes! Woo! First win of the season! Drop a like, subscribe, bro! <laughs>